What's going on, everybody? Monty here, running like a virtualization program like Parallels to uh, try out Valheim. And I was actually surprised uh, they have Windows on ARM. Uh, it's an insider preview edition. I'll, I'll post a, a pop-up right here. I got Windows installed on Parallels. So you can see down here, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. I did uh, dedicate about five and a half gigabytes of RAM and all eight cores to, uh, to this as well. So... Um, just to give you an idea of how Valheim runs, I do have Steam installed. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can. Uh, insider preview, you can see here, ARM based, ARM64, Parallels ARM VM. I have all eight processors. You can see all that. Uh, 5.2 gigs actually is what I have. Total 6.79. Also have virtual memory as well. But uh, speaking of which, we could probably change that. Uh, system configuration, maybe? No, that's not it. I want to go to control panel. Okay, we'll go to system. And you can go in here and you can play around. Um, they did have an old advanced system settings. Here you go. You can change your uh, virtual memory in here. So we could do like custom size. Let's do like I'll do like four gigs, right? Four to eight is what we'll do. Okay. Adding more virtual memory to it might help. So we're gonna just go ahead and restart real quick. Just the uh, initial impressions, it does work. You can see your Windows 10 ARM, Parallels. I am running on Mac OS. It's not plugged into my gaming computer behind me, so don't worry. Uh, what I have plugged in here on the left side is power, and then I have an anchor dock that just has my Razer Naga plugged in, as you're able to see. Um, so, uh, Windows 10 ARM. All right, now we're loaded. We'll go back to full screen. All right, so now I did, I did add more virtual memory, as you're able to see. Control panel. We'll go back down to system. I'll go back down to advanced system settings. Performance, advanced. 4096 for page file for all sizes, four to eight gig. You able to see that? I get out of that. I did check here in performance mode too, by the way, um, for power options. It's There's no option for it. I click create a power plan as well, uh, but it starts off with balance. So it doesn't really seem like I can really do a whole lot to get max performance really, like tweaking it wise. I'm just sitting here. Uh, we're at 40% memory, 5% CPU. You can see the stats here as well. So again, adding that more virtual memory will probably help with the graphics and uh, that. There's no drivers I had install, so I'll go to Device Manager. I'll pull that up as well. This is just stock settings, a lot of the stuff. Um, showing uh, computer, ARM64 based PC, disk drive, Windows 10 ARM, display adapters, parallels, display adapter as well. And I did go in parallels. Unfortunately, I didn't see any options to really tweak it. So if I go into hardware and I got a CPU and memory, you can see I put eight cores. I also put five, five and a half gigs roughly. Um, you go down here to graphics. It doesn't let me change the memory, obviously, because it's unified. That probably makes more sense. Uh, it's scaled. That's what it was set to as well. Uh, you go back down to general, uh, actually options, you got optimization. I have no limit, so uh, no limit on uh, virtual machine, disk I.O. speed, CPU usage, or network speed. So pretty much I want as much speed as I can pushing through this. Um, again, hardware-wise, I have a processor selected for CPU, GPU, um, extended memory limit selected as well. A lot of the stuff that you see grayed out, it's because I have the... Um, virtualization i have it open right now so that's why uh, i'm not able to modify any of the settings so i'll just exit back i'll go back down to windows 10 arm yeah so arm v8 64 bit you can see here eight processors five and a half gigs 64 bit uh windows 10 pro insider preview version 2004 it's the latest version installed 225 that's today uh so now that we got that installed, I don't, I'm gonna check, double check. I don't think I have anything else installed on here. And you can really get down in the nitty gritty and go down to services. Uh, there's a lot of guides that you can read online. You can disable a lot of these services uh, so you don't have all this stuff running. And I think there is a game mode uh, here in the settings actually. And that's, a, 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 what I just did was I pretty much just installed this the latest uh, and uh, I just kind of went at it, so I didn't really do much of it at all. Uh, 
Xbox game bar. Okay, I don't want to run that. So you could really go through a lot of these settings and really change a lot of this and turn a lot of this crap off uh, and, you know, possibly speed it up a little bit more. Um, but just for, just to make this video short, uh, so we have Valheim installed. I'm just going to go ahead and open that. And you're going to see exactly how it runs. This is exactly how it runs on a Mac. This is all running through uh, the Parallels ARM version. It's also running through uh, Windows 10 ARM, Win Windows Insider Preview Edition as well. So uh, this is all real. You know, it's uh, was I surprised by the performance? Not really. Uh, I would still personally, if you have over 15 to 25 megabit internet down and maybe three to five up, I would recommend GeForce Now if you want to play on a Mac. Uh, but you can see here, this is just me talking, and you start game. I'm just gonna hit start. Monty's World, I'm just gonna hit start. This is all on Steam, guys. This is, I installed the Steam app, um, and this is what, uh, this is what we're seeing now. So, uh, it runs, I mean, okay. You're gonna see here in a second, though. It's, you know, I, I don't think it's optimized enough. Obviously, the game, but also, uh, parallels for ARM, uh, for Mac and uh, Windows 10 ARM on the uh, Parallels, uh, on, you know, on the Mac as well. So you're, you're gonna see here in a second, a lot of textures and models don't seem to load correctly or there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's a lot of just flopping around with the graphics and I believe it's just the graphics driver is, is likely one of the causes, if not the only cause, really hard to say, but you're gonna see here in just a moment. All right, so, and you can also press, uh, was it F2? Function F2, let me turn this brightness up for you guys. Uh, we'll do function F2, and it'll pull up my frames per second so you're able to see that. Okay, so frames per second, just sitting here 2930, right? I got a bunch of stuff built, but you can't really see it. So I'm gonna, sure, I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm just gonna move around, okay? So really, really, like it's 2030 FPS, really choppy, stuff's not loading correctly. All right, and now we're gonna settings. I'm gonna show you my graphic settings real quick. Everything's on low, lowest resolution possible, 1280 by 860 hertz. I do have it at full screen, because if I don't, you see the size of this box, that's about what 1280 by 800 looks like, so really, really tiny. All the effects, everything turned off, VSync included, miscellaneous, I just have scale uh, user interface all the way to max. Um, and yeah, so this is how it runs. Uh, I'm just sitting here, let's do function. F2 again, so we can bring up our little FPS monitor at the top left. So 3942, I am doing a screen recording again. Uh, doing this without a screen recording, I was getting about the same. All right, let's beat this four. So if you really wanted to play this game, you could, but as you can see here, even on low settings, you know, I don't think the game's optimized, but not only that, uh, that would be the last thing. Uh, I don't think the uh, windows, between the windows uh, and parallels being optimized. Because uh, as you can see, it's working. It's playable if you really wanted to play it, but I would personally just go on GeForce Now. You've seen me play it the other day. Uh, easily get 60 frames per second, and it obviously you're streaming it. I get that, but it's just much more enjoyable. Like this right here, like it's working, but 23, 24 FPS on everything on low with the lowest resolution. Um, and with all this, uh, you know, the models coming in and out a lot, just not really enjoyable. But again, you know, this is running, uh, you could say as close natively as possible. You know, it's obviously running on parallels, but, um, you know, still impressive that it even loaded, honestly. Uh, I didn't even know that they had a Steam version of ARM, or if they did, maybe it auto-installed it for me. I don't know. I just clicked Steam for Mac, uh, actually, sorry, Steam for Windows, and I downloaded it. Uh, and then I was able to click on Valheim and install it. So again, I don't know if it's necessarily uh, that Steam is supportive on uh, running on ARM with uh, within parallels on the Mac. So a lot of different variables, as you guys are able to see here. I mean, it is working, uh, but it is really running like crap. Uh, and that's to be expected. First generation, but everybody's porting their software over to ARM right now. So... Not really surprised that it is running like crap, but hey, it's at least it's running, um, you know, 20, 30 frames per second. It's not terrible. Uh, but again, I think I think what makes the game unplayable, in my opinion, um, and it's not the low frames per second, believe it or not, it's these models popping in and out. 
And again, I turned the um, turned the view distance up uh, even a little bit, and it did the same. Like it's still draw distance level of detail. I can put that on very high, and the model still come in and out. Uh, as you're able to see, I put that on high, and we put it on high graphics. Yeah, it's on very high. FPS is still 30. It, like it did nothing, but the models are still going in and out as you're able to see. So just based on that like looking at it like that's i just think there's a game between a game it's probably a, a 3d modeling problem with uh, the graphics card like a driver issue um because it's working and i'm not getting any, really any stutters or anything it's just fps dipping and uh the model's not showing up other than that like it's working um hot i am doing a screen recording as you can see here as well so really straining it i don't have anything else open on the mac uh it's not really warm like it's warm but not warm everything is off okay we're gonna start the game we'll just do a new one how about this we'll do youtube do a completely new game so we're not loading old assets or anything Valheim is loaded we're at the fresh and uh fresh server all the graphic settings are on low user interface at max settings. Uh, I am using a magic keyboard. Those wondering out of frame, how I'm controlling everything. Also have a Razer Naga Molten um, right here as well. So what I'm using uh, to uh, control and play the game, it's all connected to an anchor dock over here as well. So, so this is actually running better than it was a few minutes ago on my old server, but you can see here, it's still, like just moving it's still like the draw distance is messed up um but it's working i mean what how many how many frames per second are we getting this is when nothing and there's no buildings no nothing so this is completely fresh so 25 frames a second drops down to 17 14 15. come on i got somebody else too what's he want get him out my resin so i mean it's if you really wanted to play it like this, you could. I would still personally recommend playing this on GeForce Now if you want to play it on a Mac really bad, uh, just because you can crank up all the graphic settings. Obviously, internet, I would recommend playing it on uh, Ethernet if you're able to. Um, though Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz does work, you might get an occasional stutter, depending on what room you're in, depending on where your router is. Again, this is Valheim on Mac M1 running on Windows ARM within Parallels. Uh, version 16 arm as well so it's working uh it's kind of glitchy um 15 frames 20 frames a second if you really had to play it i mean you could um but i would opt for the geforce now i did make a video um actually two videos of the uh playing valheim on geforce now so check those out i'll link those down below as well but uh yeah i mean am i surprised uh that this is even working yes but also, I'm not surprised by like the graphics, um, just settings. Um, again, I think it's I think over time, either Apple comes out with another bootcamp support and actual drivers that work on the Mac, sure. Uh, but right now, like this is completely base metal, like nothing installed, just straight up parallels installed, Windows installed, and then right after that, I installed Steam real quick and installed this. So haven't touched anything, haven't turned off any services. There's nothing running in the Mac background. Um, only Parallels is open. Uh, I do have five 5.2 gigabytes reserved for Windows within Parallels. So also went into Parallels, um, actually Windows, and uh, added four to eight gig virtual memory. So uh, that'll utilize um, virtual memory it'll it'll be able to add to it from uh uh from the hard drive from the solid state drive that's built in so uh, you know it's something you could do to boost a little bit performance but again uh this is about as good as it's going to get until they uh, come out with proper drivers and or proper uh, boot camp support um with apple and windows so again valheim on the mac it's running it's, it's playable but uh like i said it's kind of choppy the lighting's kind of messed up uh, the draw distance, the view distance, all that stuff. You can see here, like, it's just flickering in and out. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to see more Mac videos, let me know down below. Uh, I've been working on Macs uh, over seven years now, so 
uh, know a lot of tips and tricks, uh, a lot of that stuff. So yeah, this M1, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Valheim. Go ahead and subscribe and like. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.